guys and welcome back to my channel Ta -da! isn't she gorgeous I've been wanting this clutch for years but I could never justify the price it was a bit of a ridiculous purchase because it's so small it doesn't really fit a lot in it it's for people that do not carry a lot or for someone who wants something for the evening or for an event you know, it's super cute. I do think it is adorable. The details on this is gorgeous. I must say at first glance, it is just beautiful. It's a beautiful clutch. The hardware, I really love the color of the hardware. It's a real antique gold without being too yellow. Even on the, these little divots and all those little buttons that are on here. I don't even know what you would call these. The Louis Vuitton is all etched in. It is beautiful. It's nice and refined down the bottom here. It's got the tiny lip that I've spoken about on the Brochette Matisse. Um, the logo here is great. Really nice and refined. I really love the monogram as well. Even the tiny details on the sides. The stitching the etched in leather, there's like a trim around the leather. All around, you can sort of see, it's like an indentation, like an embossed line that happens all the way around. And even on here, even these D-rings on the side, say Louis Vuitton etched in. I absolutely love the color of these. They're real antique gold color. And even at the back, all these little buttons say Louis Vuitton the gold ones not the black ones the black ones don't say anything yeah all the stitching looks pretty good a um, little bit messy in some of the back stitching there but nothing major nothing that you really would see unless you were really really looking and then these three X's they have been like cut out sort of like laser cut and then reds underneath looks like it's sort of been painted hand painted maybe um, could even even be a stamp or something like that and then we open her up I really should see if my phone fits in here I'm pretty sure it will but oh the inside is gorgeous it's got the beautiful diamond print at the back with Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy we've got the strap which I will go through with you guys and also on the other side we've got a little card holder here just in the back really really beautiful clutch as mentioned have been wanting one of these for a really long time and I was actually gonna get a black one until I got all my monogram Louis Vuitton bags here. I've never been into the monogram. I've told you guys that before, but something about that Palm Springs backpack just made me fall in love. Actually, it wasn't that. It was the Pochette Matisse that made me fall in love with the monogram. And I got it because when I wore black, it just looked amazing and really bougie. So I changed my mind at the very last minute and got the monogram. The monogram is iconic. It is a really classic version of this bag, the Petite Mal. Petite Mal. Don't know if I've said that before. The leather is pretty good on this strap. We've got the Louis Vuitton etched in really, really nicely on the clips and also on the buckle, exactly the same. The strap has been tapered. There is a tiny step, but it is small. So that's to wear this bag crossbody. Now you guys know I love me a crossbody bag. This is going to be a great evening out bag. I'm actually going out to dinner tonight and I think it'll be perfect. So I will definitely be wearing it. I have put it on the largest or the longest strap length so I can see how long it actually goes crossbody. Not much else to say. Let's do the ultimate test. 
I have a 7 Plus phone. It is on the larger side, guys. And it does fit along one side. You see that? Just. There is about a centimetre. One centimetre. Obviously, I can fit a whole bunch of other stuff there as well. Um, you can definitely fit some makeup in here, hand sanitizer, a mask. If you want me to do a what's in my bag, let me know. But, you know, you're not going to be carrying the stuff you normally carry in a big handbag. So keep that in mind. I will not be using this as an everyday bag. This is going to be a special occasion bag or a going out to dinner bag or something like that. It is super cute. I do have to warn you that I've only put my phone in there and it feels heavy. It does feel a little bit heavy. Not so heavy that you're going to notice when it's on your body, but you know, like all these trunks, these trunks are a bit of work. Like they're, they're an art piece and all the trunks have quite a lot of hardware, you know, all on the corners and here and the buckles and the clips. There is one thing here, which is this flap and I don't know if this is supposed to be as loose it's just um, not super tight this could I don't know I don't know if that's normal it's jiggling because it's just a little bit looser like if the strap was like inches smaller it'd probably be a closer fit but then it would be really hard to close not really gonna notice but you know, I thought I'd mention it. That's really the only flaw that I can see. The back stitching is a little bit heavy, but I don't think that, that that's much of an issue. What do you guys think? I am showing this to you guys handheld so you can see how small it is compared to my frame. I am um, a plus size girl, as you guys know. So these small bags would look even smaller on me. Um, as I mentioned, I have a 7 Plus phone that fits inside and you can fit more in there, card holder, you know, small wallet, keys, hand sanitizer, etc, lipstick. Absolutely love the canvas. The canvas is also beautiful. Um, I will also show you guys this on the shoulder and this is on the longest strap length. So on the shoulder, and then I will show you it crossbody. And I will be wearing this crossbody and without the strap, just handheld out to dinner. Um, and I will place this on the table next to me. So I've been wanting a little clutch like this for such a long time and something that would sit on the table. And I think this is gonna be a real winner. You can sort of see how long it sort of goes on me here. I really feel like I'm gonna get a real enjoyment out of wearing this bag. I already want to wear it tonight. So I always know that that is a key factor when I get my bags in, that if I want to wear it straight away, it's going to be a winner in my closet. Well, guys, there you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've been considering this bag, the Petite Mal, and if you would go with the iconic classic style like this, or if you would go for some of the other combinations. They've got some really interesting combinations. There's like a galaxy one, and I think there's a jungle one, and uh, I've also seen plain white ones, plain black ones, and ones with heaps of different sort of art on them. So let me know, guys know what you think of this bag. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please feel free to give me a like if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel. I do videos every single week on bags and much more. Also, head to my Instagram. It is where we talk about bags all day long. You can always hit me up, give me a DM. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as I'm very active there. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye for now. Oh,